Hey y'all. Well, just playing a little bitty of uh, one of the bass lines popularized by Mr. Marshall Jones, basis of the Ohio players from Dayton. Um, um, Mr. Jones sadly has uh, succumbed to uh, uh, death after a long bout with cancer, I'm told. He was 75. Um, he was in uh, Houston, Texas at the time. Um, he um, was survived by his uh, daughters, two daughters he had, uh, Donna and Charlotte. And um, what can I say, man? A lot of beautiful bass lines he put down, man, with the Ohio players. It started out as the Ohio Untouchables, later became the Ohio Players. Um, very, very, very popular band during the 70s. And um, really represented Ohio to the fullest, man. They even uh, had a song. And they put it out called Ohio, Ohio, it was called. And, uh, um, Ohio in the uh, Dayton area was really, really proud of it, I remember, uh, back then. And, um, yeah, um, what can I say, man? I mean, uh, a, a lot of those hits they had, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, Fire and uh, Skin Tight and Hoochie Cool. I mean, um, those bass lines really... I mean, really led those songs, man. I mean, in my opinion. Um, and uh, really gave him some meat, man. His, I mean, his bass lines uh, took up a lot of space, uh, you know, really ate up their recordings. And, of course, after that came those wonderful horns that they had in the Ohio Players. It was a full band. I think there were about eight or nine members in that band. I can't recall right now. I know they had at least, at least a four-man uh, horn section. I think two guitars, so I think it was... Nine guys, maybe ten, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, uh, the legacy that uh, the Ohio players have left is, man, is awesome, man. So that was one of the real super monster bands back then. And um, the utilization of the horns and everything, you know, that's almost non existent in today's music. And um, I remember uh, seeing Marshall uh, in a, um, you know, one of those behind the music of uh, VH1 documentaries. He was uh, one of the last members of, of the group in them. Um, he got into, um, um, you know, some of the good times, of course, the bad times, some of the difficulties they had, they had that man had financially, and um, talked uh, greatly about the late uh, Clarence Satchel Mitchell, who was uh, uh, the main horn player and uh, leader of the band. And, uh, yeah, um, he's been in that band. At first, it was the Ohio Untouchables, as I said, and uh, he's been in that man, um, band, band, man band uh, since about 1959 with uh, uh, Clarence Satchel and a man by the name of Robert Ward, also a member, um, that uh, kind of started the band, uh, Pee Wee Middlebrooks and uh, Cornelius Johnson. Um, yeah, uh, we lost another great one. Uh, he was 75 and uh, seemed to be a real, real cool, good man, you know. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, let you guys know uh, some of the best of us, you know, have passed in, in, in recent times since we're uh, losing a lot of them at this time. And uh, so here's to um, Marshall. Sure they also nicknamed him The Rock. The Rock because of his strong deep bass lines. Um, uh, Marshall The Rock Jones. Marshall Rock Jones. Not The Rock, but... Ogo Howe Players um, has passed away. He was born in 1941, and uh, he has now left his life um, in 2016. And, uh, you know, much respect to him, his uh, legacy. Um, my condolences to his family. Um, yeah, Marshall's gone, but he's um, left us with some great music, great bass lines. Hell of a bass line, man. <laughs> So um, here's you, Marshall, uh, wherever you may be, and uh, thanks for watching the uh, Max Proud channel. Marshall Jones, dead at 75. We will miss him greatly.
Until next, peace.